gotta be accurate in your reading. So you need to replace your batteries for that. And that's a nine volt battery I need to replace. Okay, right now, I got all these batteries. You see, it goes all the way there, stops right there. This red wire goes to the hot side of the circuit, goes all the way in, goes through all this wire, and back in. So what I have right now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 packs. 14 times eight batteries per pack. That is 80 plus. 32 or 112 batteries. They're all rechargeable, so that's good. And the voltage should be around 120 volts. Okay, 120 volts. And this current is meaningless. So right now, it's running turning its fan. Now I hope you can hear this wind. Blow in, blow in again. Now this coil, this coil is 500 ohms, so even, I, even if I hold this straight, guess what the current should be? You take 120 and you divide by 500, because this coil is 500 ohms and this stuff has to go all the way through this 500 ohms. So, maximum theoretical wattage here, I'll have to get my recharge, uh, new battery recharger. So you take 60, no, no, no 120 volts. Square it, said so okay, and then divide by the resistance. So, 120 times 120, okay, 14,400, and divide by 500. So let's just take 145,000 and divide by uh, 500. So that's 28 plus 1, or 29 watts maximum this could be using. But that's not considering the fact this thing is not going to be using all that the, the, the maximum power because it's spinning really fast. It's not going to use the same current as the maximum. It's off half of the time. So what happens is half the time this thing is off. So it's going to use at least half as much of that. Because half the time it's on, half the time it's off. So it couldn't be using any more than actually 14 watts. Okay, you see how that works? Here's the one again, and just for fun, we're gonna get this thing. And you see how far this goes? You see how far this goes? Now, not as good as I wanted it to. I wanted it to go all the way over here. Let's see how much this goes? And it's still tilting. See how that is? This one goes all the way there. Let's see, and it's still tilted. See, it's still tilted. Now, if I take it out here, obviously. Um, it dies down at the first row for the back. Now here's the thing. Now I move it. It's already moving. See, there's a uh, fan over there. And it's kind of weird. What happening, what's happening here is this thing's still bouncing around. Now, see how this is really fast? Do, 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 I wish the video was uh, 60 frames per second. But as you can see, there's an exponential function. The more I use the voltage, the power output goes by the cube of the voltage because this is a fan. And a fan, the RPM goes up by the voltage. So, the torque goes up by the square of the voltage. Okay? Now, here's something. Um, what else can I do? Well, let me just play it around. Something. See if I can make this work. Oh, now I got the whole huge thing to move, finally. See how that works. Now this thing, limping over there, put it over here. This whole thing to move, oh well. Well, still have to work on that. But, this is a new motor. We're using about 14 watts or less. 14 watts or less. All right, here's the wind, you hear it? Stop this. That's how many magnets I have now. 28 plus 12, that's a 40 magnets. Okay. And there we go. There's the torque right there. Now a little bit push right there. Get it. 